This is Twit. If we go back in time of year, um, passkeys were, everyone was starting to do passkeys, right? Google, Microsoft, uh, and 23H2, minor. Uh, Amazon was the big one. Amazon got it right. They did a great job with it. Their, their implementation of passkeys is fantastic. And, but what started to happen was there, all the third party password managers were yep. looking at making these things portable because the pass key spec is these things are per device. So if you have an online account and you have two computers, a laptop and a tablet, you have to individually create a passkey on each of those devices yeah. to use the pass. You know, it's a different passkey for each device. Mm. So the Dashlane's uh, Proton uh, Pass, uh, One Password, Bitwarden, Bitwarden yep. all have their own implementations now of this type of thing. So there's two types of portability. One is um, within the ecosystem. So I use Proton Pass on my computer. I use it on my phone. I use it on my tablet. So if I create a pass key on my computer and save it to uh, <laughs> get Proton. The things. Proton Pass, thank you. I'm like, Bitwarden? No, that's not it. Um, that thing will be available to me on my phone and on my tablet, right? That's, that's nice. But as part of this data egress thing I just talked about, mm -hmm. part of, so the FIDO Alliance is in control of the spec. So obviously these companies work with the FIDO Alliance and they're trying mm -hmm. to, you know, let's make this thing a specification. So there are two uh, standards they're working on. One is that thing I just described, both related to portability. But the other one is that data egress thing. You have either as a business or just as a human being say like, hey, I want to switch to one password from whatever I'm using now from Chrome or whatever, right? Um, but I want my pass keys to come too. They're working on a standard for that as well. So you can import and export pass keys. Pass keys are a lot like recall, right? They mm -hmm. started, no, I mean it. I, I, they started, per, it was on device. It was only that device. There was no connectivity to the cloud. Um, it was specific to that device. But like with recall, as I keep saying, I, I, the future of this thing is obviously it has to sync to the cloud. It's going to go everywhere. So with pass keys, third party pass key managers are already doing this. Uh, Google just had an announcement. We might have talked about it. We might not have actually last week, but Google is bringing this capability to Chrome, right? So you'll have uh, across Android, Chrome OS, and Chrome web browsers, wherever you are, the ability to use a passkey that you might have created on, on another device. So it's, it's an obvious need. Um, I, I think it was last week we were talking, we talked about passkeys for some reason last week. I can't remember mm -hmm. why, but I, I, I kind of raised this notion of we should really think of this as passwordless and not kind mm -hmm. of worry about what it is, right? Leo was asking earlier with the Microsoft Authenticator app, what is this thing? Is this a passkey or is this a whatever? And it's like, well, this is, it's a, it's a passwordless authentication option, in this case, 2FA, but whatever. Passwordless are, passwordless. Pass keys are arguably the most convenient form of passwordless because you don't need another device. You're right. authenticating using the uh, secure hardware that you might have a facial recognition system, a fingerprint recognition or a pin, a pin has, you know, you have to have that fallback mm -hmm. and it's all happening on that device. You don't have to engage with some like a security key or a, a phone with a 2FA app. Um, so I think this is what pass keys. I think to most people are um, complicated and it, it's, you know, security is hard and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think this is what's going to put pass keys over the top for just human beings. It, 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 it's great for everyone, including technical people. It's just easy, you know, it's, it's more convenient. But mm -hmm. I think it, this is the type of thing we could sell on people. Like, you know, yeah. I, I know well, I people think the name, say- The name oh, was very tool. intentional because passwordless scares folks, but I need a password. Yes, right. Where pass right. keys so is, key. sits in between the two. Yeah. Yep. And I think the, the, the spread of pass keys will result in more online counts accounts giving you the option and maybe one day mandating mm -hmm. that you do not have a password, <laughs> right? Mm, yeah. um, you can do that optionally with your Microsoft account today. Um, I feel like I'm not a, I'm not a, a technical expert when it comes to security, but I feel like I'm at least semi-technical in general. And I haven't done that. Like I, I it just feel, it feels wrong to me, but um, you know, someday I think that's going to be this, you know, the way things are. So this is a, a nice step in that direction. And I've then had just, enough problems with enough different security options like FIDO keys and Authenticator and yeah. things that I have a tough time giving back away any of the fallbacks. But when passkeys works, it's so sweet. Oh, it's the yeah. best. And the, the, pro, the problem, the, one of the many problems with this type of thing is that there are so many different ways to authenticate yourself. And different accounts support different ranges of those things. And you go from account to account, like I do all, you know, I'm always setting up new computers and doing this stuff. And then 
I have to remember, okay, so did I sign into this one with my Google account? And then did, does, do I have a 2FA for this or do I do it? You know, it, it's, I, I think at some point we're going to just standardize on, you'll always have to have fallbacks. I mean, of course, but I think this will become the default best, whatever implementation of this type of authentication and something that normal people can. I agree. You know, mm -hmm. uh, at least that's the hope. Yeah. I mean, I've and got portability a lot of was on critical. Kaskies, that's a critical portability feature. is hundred percent critical. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because like you want to go through this awful process, and you're like, all right, now I'm guys going to go do this again on my phone. Fantastic, and it's no, the worst. So yeah, no. having that stuff sync is is the best. Well, and, um, and more and more saliently, it's like you do not want it to work in one place and not in another place. Exactly. Well, it's more and it's more than syncing because oh, my yes, my passkeys on Apple sync. It's right. being able to move it to a Google phone instead, mm -hmm. which like, they do not allow today. But Apple, by the way, is part of this announcement yeah, and they well, will be we'll doing that, that in their new passwords well, app so you will, will be able to do that yeah okay hey it's me leo laporte i hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from windows weekly if you want to see more and want to catch the whole show you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website twit.tv slash ww and of course there's links right below me